It's a little Pepe AL. Some Whittier. It's a brand new. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought it was just this little mini piece, but would you look at it? That's the biggest one I've ever seen in my freaking life, dude. Oh, what the hell? Nice. All right. Well, perfect. We came what we were looking for. Let's get these guys. I know it looks disgusting, but... It's delicious and good for you. It's got to clean it up. Would you look at that? And then right here, same one. We got some snow fungus. So this is that tremella. Oh, I'm seeing all kinds of mushrooms over here. This is a really good spot. Panning over. So look at how close these are growing, which is pretty rare. You never really see them growing off in the same spot like this. But we'll pull this guy over, see what else is going on him. Cool. Some more woodier. Little roly polies. This is like a mushroom farm for me. Okay. Every video is like the most I've ever found. But this is definitely the most I've ever found. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That is a fucking, that is gyozas right here. I'm gonna have to fill this whole thing up. I'm not gonna have room for the, all this. It's funny, last time I was here, it was all tremella. I wonder why it's growing only right here. I went, just did a freaking mile hike. I didn't find any mushrooms. And then I checked my little spot that I found one time before. And look at that. Look at that. That is crazy. So there's more though, so I gotta move slow. Oh, here we go. This one fell off. That's almost packed all the way in. Might have to start going into the zip block. Oh, and look at that. It's a nice, nice tremella right here. So, so many words for these mushrooms. It doesn't like really matter to me what you call it. It's like tremella, white, white snow mushroom, all kinds. This stuff is nuts. Look at that. That was in like three minutes. That's like one pound of wild mushroom. That's a freaking, I don't know how I find so many, dude. That's crazy. Oh, look at this. A little, little avocado to go with it, rotten avocado. <laughs> so I see some baby ones down here. I'm gonna leave these baby ones because I wanna come back in a week and hopefully there'll be even more. So we found more mushrooms and I'm able to pack into my little mason jar. So we're gonna go ahead and just fill up the sack, which isn't my favorite thing to do because these are like wet and slimy a little bit. But... I got a dry sack in here. So I ran out of space in my, uh, my mason jar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one of these. These look like Kahlo, but they're not. These are just like an elephant ear type deal. And i turn this guy into a little pouch for us. To take out this middle line. And then I can actually fold it into a workable pouch. Cool, there we go. I think we can fill that guy up. Might have to make two of these I'm using like 50% of my brain. Whoa, look at all that concrete over there. I take out this spine just so I can fold it over. If I don't do that, it's um, pretty hard to manage. This is top tier mushroom. Look at that. Amazing, fresh, clean. Bugs haven't got to it yet. This is probably like around a day to two days old. Probably uh, fruited overnight with all this rain that we're getting. All it takes is one good rain and all this stuff will just juice up. This is like 99% water. And then the rest is all like biomaterial and like mycelium. Super good for you. This one's jelly. Still good though. So yummy. Yeah, that's a nice one. 
Like you can, you don't really eat this, but you can tell which ones look more yeah, appetizing. It's up from under the bark right here. So I'll pop that bark open, and then you can see the orange. That's the, that's the base of it. That orange stuff right there. I eat that stuff. I think that's probably where all the health benefits are. I'm not too sure, but I haven't had any problems yet. I feel like I'm a pretty healthy guy. So we're back at the house now, and we're cooking up some of this bamboo shoots and. Pepe Yao. We also scored some cloud mushroom, uh, or otherwise known as snow fungus. It's that white mushroom you see me using in a lot of stuff. But I'm actually going to cook it into like a really nice meal for you guys today. We're going to do a gyoza, which is like a Japanese dumpling. And they're pretty popular here in Hawaii, but when people do them, they usually use uh, cabbage and onions. Today we're going to do ours with bamboo shoot, wild forage bamboo shoot, and then two different types of wild mushroom. So we're going to slightly adjust our, our, our dumplings to being uh, Chinese flavored instead of like a Japanese like lighter flavor. So what we're going to use, we're going to use this wild cinnamon. This is, we have all types of cinnamon. We have two different types. We have regular cinnamon and we have false cinnamon. Today we're going to be using false cinnamon. It's just a little lighter in flavor, but it has a really cool, unique smell to it. And it's packed with the aroma of like a basic cinnamon. It smells like, almost like big red gum or something like that, but a lot more nuanced than that. And so this is our Big Island peppercorn. This is from my Maya. We're just gonna put a little bit in here too. So this is our blended up wild cinnamon and peppercorn. And we're just gonna kinda spice it out. Awesome. Break it down, and I'm using Malden salt right now because this is the flakiest salt I have on hand. And so what you do is you just kind of massage, it's like massaged kale, massaged cabbage. And you just get these onions. And... Okay, so now it's getting nice. And and what I'm going to do is I'm going to eventually get this all nice. And I'm going to juice it with my hands and get all that extra water content out. So it's like a little dry and it'll be a little more texturally appealing. Okay, so we got all of our ingredients in a little cotton bag, and we're just gonna see all that liquid coming out. And there we go. That's all the kale juice and the water from the onions. We're just gonna chop up our mushrooms a little bit. So these are gonna add awesome mushroom flavor and also a cool texture to the to the wontons. So the last time I made this, it was like like 70% filler, 30% mushroom. <laughs> this is like the opposite this time, which is awesome. So this is that bamboo shoot. You can see the segmentation right here. This is actually where the bamboo forms its um, holes when it's like coming out of the ground. These holes expand into like the actual bamboo tubes eventually. You can see like right there too. And this is like a invasive, super invasive problem here in Hawaii. So using this and once it's bamboo season, these grow prolifically all over on the side of the road and the trails and people's yards and stuff. Okay, so we're just gonna wet the wrap, the wonton wrap. Grab a little bit. Key is to not overstuff it. Mushroom mix with bamboo shoot. Swiss chard, kale, various greens from the garden, bok choy, uh, ginger from the garden, and then I spiced it with a little cinnamon and peppercorn, and both of those are wild foraged as well. So besides the wrapper, this is all from the mountains. Nice and easy, and then I'll put them over here. So you get the water to make sure it sticks. I'm probably not going to win any dumpling awards for this, but... To me, it's the sourcing that's the fun part. <laughs> Plus, these are going to taste amazing. I have a chili oil and a little ponzu dipping sauce I'm going to make for it. Try a different shape here. We're going to try the, the triangle and see what happens.
So oiling the, the little wok right here. I'm just gonna throw in a little oil, get it nice and hot. And then I like to just throw them in like that. A lot of the times too, um, if you freeze these first, it's actually easier to, to cook them. So we're gonna get them nice and crispy and golden brown. Crispy gougy action right here. Ginger flavor, cinnamon, the texture from the mushroom is really awesome. You have a soft one and a crunchy one. And then the nice green flavor from those leafy greens we put in. It's perfect. It's a crunchy little. Put the ginger flower in the gyoza. Look at that. And then dip it in here. This is a little soy sauce and sesame oil. <laughs> it's so good. It's got the mushroom flavor with the greens, a little bit of the onion, the chives, and a huge kick of ginger from that ginger flower. And then check out the chili oils, A1 too. We killed it, it was perfect. So thanks for tuning in guys. So please like, subscribe and comment below. And we were working really hard, so we appreciate any feedback and really thank you guys for watching these videos and getting to the end. So see you on the next one.